Welcome back. We're in the middle of making our Shabbat feast. Oh, it gets a little bit hectic in this house on Friday afternoons, but you have nothing to worry about because we're gonna get done before candle lighting tonight. My Gondi is cooking back there, but now I wanna focus on appetizer. I am gonna teach you how to make my favorite baked salmon with glorious green relish. It's absolutely delicious. First things first, you wanna make sure your fish is clean fresh and also dry. You don't want any water in the fish because you want to make sure that all the beautiful things we're going to put on it are not going to slide away. Now we're going to transfer this fish to this baking sheet that I have covered with tin foil to make it easier for me to clean. We're going to drizzle olive oil on the baking sheet to prevent the fish from sticking to it. And now I'm going to transfer the fish to that baking sheet. There we go. Beautiful. There it is. Bring it over here. I'm gonna drizzle a bunch of really yummy and exotic things on it. First of all, salt. I'm gonna use sea salt. It's not because it's a fish and sea salt, it's because it's good and it's really beautiful. Now we're gonna put some pepper. Fresh pepper is the best. Now I'm gonna press some garlic in it. My garlic presser is fantastic because it's so big and press tons of garlic in it. You can also put dry garlic if you want to. You can put a teaspoon of garlic on it. I like fresh garlic. There's nothing like fresh garlic, nothing. Okay, get all the garlic out of there. Come on, baby, there you go. See, when a person bites into that fish and gets a teeny bit of garlic that's caramelized on top of it, it's so good. We're gonna put a little bit of paprika because salmon, when it cooks, becomes kind of white. And the paprika is gonna give it a very pretty, like, orangey color. Very nice. Now, we're gonna drizzle olive oil. There it is. Not too much. And massage it with your hands. So that all the beautiful things we put on it will go into the crevices of the fish. Okay, gonna wash my hand here. Very nice, looks beautiful. What you wanna do now is put this baby in an oven that's been warmed up at 350 for around 20 to 25 minutes. Now, don't overcook this, please. It'll be really bad if you do that. If you take a knife and you flake a little bit and it comes off, that's perfect timing to take it out of the oven. 20, 25 minutes for a fish this size. While that is cooking, I'm gonna make the relish. Now, I just used the one on the bottom, the coating bar on the bottom, for raw fish. So you don't wanna touch it again, right? Salmonella is not good. Okay, so now we're gonna cut an onion. That's how our relish is gonna start. Peel the onion. Okay. This is really the secret of this dressing, plus obviously garlic. I'm a big fan. Now you're gonna cut this very little. Remember how to cut an onion this very little. You'd make horizontal cuts. Then you make vertical cuts. Just watch your hand, okay? And this is gonna cut all the parts of the onion inside and make for very tiny bits. The smaller your onion is, the better your reputation as a Persian wife. I'm not joking. Cut the onion a little bit more. Put it aside. Very nice. Now I'm gonna add some really good garlic. Listen, there's no limit. If you're a garlic lover like me, you could put as many as you want. Honestly, I love this garlic presser. It's just so big and it fits a lot of it. Squeeze it out. Ah, it smells so good. Okay, very nice. Now I am going to add to this some beautiful, beautiful cilantro. If you want to learn how to wash cilantro the kosher way, you can look at my video for Shirazi salad on my YouTube channel. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to bruise it a little bit, not too much. Because otherwise, it's going to lose that pretty fan-like cilantro shape. Just cut it up a little bit. Very nice. We'll add it there. To this, we're gonna add about a quarter cup of olive oil. And also, tons of lime juice. I'm gonna cut about four limes. I'm not even joking, because you want this to be very tangy. 
coffee, instead of putting lime in the fish, which is actually going to cook it, you want to put the lime on the dressing. And then you get the full flavor without overcooking your fish. I'm going to squeeze the lime. Squeeze. Okay, good. If you find your limes are too tough because you just took them out of the refrigerator, all you need to do is stick them in the microwave for like 15 seconds and they become great and soft. Another trick that I'm going to give you, it's really important to choose limes the right way. If you want limes with skin smooth, not bumpy, and when you touch them, they're soft and squishy. That's the secret of choosing great limes. To this, we're obviously going to add salt. Say like a teaspoon, half a teaspoon salt. And a beautiful, fresh, fresh pepper. Okay. We'll mix it up a little bit. And it's ready to go on top of the fish. The best thing about this fish is it cooks in no time. And it makes the relish. Oh, it smells so good. This thing is so good. It's so good. You know something? I'm gonna try a little bit of that fish. Because I just can't make that juicy fish just out of the oven with a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. A little bit of relish in a corner. Shh. Let's taste it. Mmm. Mmm. This thing is so good. So good.